Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you an exciting new update on the class in app. Well, I think it's exciting. If you are like me and you assign homework through the task or the test tab on class in for your students, you will also really, really love this new update. So this was update was just released today. So if you have not updated your app, Make sure you go down to your settings. When there's an update, you always see a little red circle on the settings and check the update and make sure your app is up to date. Once you update your app, you will see a new button over here on the left. Under the home button, you will see a button that says to do. First, let me talk about the tasks. If you're not familiar with tasks or tests, those are the tabs over here where you can assign homework for your student. I use the task for every single one of my students. I always assign speaking homework where I say words that they had a hard time pronouncing or they need to practice. They have to say them back in the task. And then I also assign word wall homework, so I send those links in the task as well. A long time ago, when I first started on Class In, they used to have a box just like an upcoming class box under the student's classroom that showed you all the tasks or tests that you have assigned to students. It was wonderful because once the student submitted their task or their test, it would also show in that box. So all I had to do was scroll down my list of my classrooms and I could easily see if a student completed their homework. But a couple of months ago, that disappeared and I was super, super sad because then I had to click on every student's classroom, click on the task, check to see if they did it, go to the next student, click on the task, next student, click on the task, and it was really time consuming. And when I asked class in about it, they assured me that they were optimizing this feature. I thought it was never going to happen, but today it finally was optimized. So now, there is an easy way for you to see all of your students' tasks or tests that have been assigned and that have been completed. So if I click on this to do button on the left, I will see three boxes here. Deadline has passed, so that'd be like overdue within a week. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Maybe one week overdue or one week coming up. I'm not sure. And then a week later, these are my upcoming due assignments. So if I see here, I have five of them. I click on it and now I can see all of the tasks or tests that I have assigned for my students. I can just keep it as all classes, so I can see every single one. I can see under them who it is, George, Emma, Amy, Sophia, George. And then I could also just choose the student. So George, if I only wanted to see George's, since he has two and they're kind of spread out, I can click on George and it will show me just the assignments that I have assigned to George. So when I go to my all classes, I can look over here and I can see the submitted homework if it has been submitted or has not been submitted. So obviously they all say zero out of one because I just assigned these today. So my students haven't done them yet. And since they haven't been submitted, there's nothing for me to review. So unreviewed shows zero because there is nothing to be reviewed. So I can see everything all in one place. Oh, hallelujah. So now I don't have to click on every single student to check their homework. So now I'm going to quickly show you what it's going to look like when you assign a task from the teacher side and from the student side. So I'm gonna go back to my classes. I'm gonna to go to my test student down here and I'm just going to assign a quick task. Post task, da 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 da, confirm. I always just do a week out for my students. So now if I go back to my to-do list, I'm going to see a new task. It's at the top that I just assigned to my test student. And I can see, obviously, it has not been submitted yet. So now I'm gonna go to my student. So here's my iPad for my test student. And here you can see, they can still, of course, click on their classroom and click on the task. 
and they can see the task that I just assigned to them, take task. But now they also have a to do button on their screen, but they have to update their iPad or tablet, just like I had to update. So if they don't update, they're not gonna see that button. And they can click on the to do button and they have those same three sections here. And when they click on that, now they can see their task and they can complete the task from here as well. So I'm going to do my task. I'm going to just type something in, da 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 da. And I'm going to submit. And I just have my pop-up because I'm on my computer here. So as soon as the student submits their task, it disappears from pending and they will now just see it under processed because they have already submitted it. Now let me go back to my teacher. Since I haven't left this page, it's not going to populate the new information. So I either have to go out somewhere else or just refresh. And when I refresh, I now see, oh, I gotta click on that again. It now has changed to one submitted and one unreviewed. My students submitted it, but I have not reviewed it. So from this page, I can now click on it just like I would have done from their classroom. And then I can click review. Excellent work. If I want to type a note, I can do that and finish. So unlike the student, when I finish reviewing their task, it does not automatically go to processed. So it changes to zero unreviewed because there's nothing left for me to review, but it still shows one out of one submitted. So I know I have finished reviewing this. If I want to get rid of it, I don't want it on the screen anymore because I only want to see what I have left to check. I can now change it to processed. So I go to this little check mark and I can mark as processed. Now it disappears from this list, but I can still see it under processed. So let's say I missed something or they wanted me to look at something again, I could still have access to that assignment. And if I accidentally click processed, I can always click on this check again, mark as pending, and then it goes back to the pending section. So keep in mind, one thing to keep in mind is this is only going to show any assignments, tasks, tests that you assign after you have updated. So I did all of these today, which is why I can see them. I did this after I updated. I still have assignments for other students that I've assigned before this update. So I'm not going to be able to see those. I would have to go back to their classroom and check the task there. But from now on, any new tasks or tests that I assign, I can now just go to this to-do list and I can see everything all in one place which I am super, super, super excited about. I've been waiting for something like this for many, many months. So another thing to keep in mind, if you're like me and you check homework on your phone, I sometimes will check on my computer if I'm in the middle of teaching or between teaching, but I often check on my phone. So if you have the class in app downloaded on your phone, make sure again that you update and it's on Apple, and Android. I have an Android phone and I'm able to see the to-do list on my Android as well. So you can do everything on any of your devices to check the assignments that you have assigned. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye everyone.